Hi everyone, I decided I'd make a better and more improved guide of fighter than my last one. This time we'll be covering the skill tree, photon art, and photon art rotations, as well as what each weapon actions do. Fighter is a class that deals high amounts of damage to enemies while also being a very counter heavy class at the same time, and uses knuckles, double saber, and twin daggers. All three of these weapons are very strong in their own right. As of one of the previous maintenances, the full version of Julian Ant was nerfed, but Double Saber is still a very strong weapon despite this, and even now has actual PA rotations that it uses. The same can be said for Knuckles, which now can no longer do three counters in a row. Before we get into Photon Arts and what each weapon does, however, let's talk about the skill tree. As for most classes in PSO2 NGS, the skill tree is very straightforward, and with max skill points, you can pretty much get everything needed. First, let's talk about the general skill tree skills. First off, we have Overload and Overload Endurance. Overload is a skill which increases the potency of your weapon for a short time in exchange for taking increased damage. This skill is usually worth using on down enemies to maximize your own damage. Meanwhile, Overload Endurance will give you an Iron Will effect, preventing you from getting instantly killed should you take a fatal blow while Overload is active, at the cost of losing your Overload. Next, we have Defeat Advantage. Defeat Advantage will give you a damage increase on downed enemies. At the very least, if you take all the skills in the skill tree, you'll be able to put at least 3 points into this skill. Some will recommend you put in as much possible, however. In order to do this, you will need to take some skill points out of your other fighter weapons. Defeat PP Recovery will increase your PP Recovery on downed enemies. Similar to Defeat Advantage, you don't need all 10 points into this. Simply one point will do. Fighter Skip Arts is a skill which will allow you to skip certain parts of fighter photon arts. By using a photon art and not holding any directional input, you will perform a, the second half of the photon art used, while holding a directional input will perform the first half. Next, we have same art skip. Using the same PA twice and executing a normal attack, you will perform the final stage of your normal attack instead of the third. Finally, we have another art skip. By using different photon arts and following up a normal attack, your normal attack will be changed. By using less than four photon arts, you will cause a normal attack to move immediately to its final step. It's usually a good idea to do two or three photon arts if you plan on using this. With the general skills covered, let's move into the weapons. First off, we have the Twin Dagger Tree. The first skill in this tree is the Dagger Extra Attack. This skill allows you to string upwards to four normal attacks into each other. The fourth normal attack is the strongest and allows you to restore quite a decent chunk of PP too. Next up, we have Acceleration Drive. This skill allows you to charge towards the enemy by waiting for a purple line to appear on your character after using a photon and then executing a normal attack. This is Twin Dagger's main gap closer. Finally, we have Dagger Spin Counter. Dagger Spin Counter allows you to perform a counter attack with the Twin Dagger's weapon action. After a successful counter and using a normal attack, you perform a counter attack on the enemy while also moving towards them. Next up, we have the Double Saber Tree. The first skill in this tree is Deadly Archer. Deadly Archer is a powerful attack that can be used when Double Saber's Whirlwind is at max level by holding the weapon action. This attack has considerable iframes on it while also dealing quite a bit of damage too. We then have Spiral Drive. Similar to Deadly Archer, Spiral Drive is an attack that can be used when your Whirlwind hits the second level by executing a normal attack. This attack will push you back slightly after using it, but hits rather hard. We then have Saber Parry Counter. By pressing a normal attack after executing a counter with the weapon action, you will execute a counter attack. This counter is good for generating whirlwinds. Finally, we have the Saber Parry Another Counter. By pressing the web action a second time after executing a counter, you can perform a counter attack. This generally is worse than a normal parry counter as it builds less whirlwind, but it makes for a good gap closer. And now, let's move on to the Knuckles skill tree. We first have Knuckles Attack Extra. This skill allows you to strength the ever 5 normal attacks. Your fifth normal attack is the strongest normal attack and generates the most PP. We then have Knuckles Attack Switch. After using the Sway Weapon action on Knuckles and countering, by following up with a normal attack, you'll use your fifth normal attack immediately. Finally, we have Knuckles Sway Counter and Knuckles Sway Counter Plus. With Knuckles Sway Counter and its plus version, by countering an attack, you can unleash a counter attack by pressing the weapon action again. With the plus version, you can perform another counter by pressing the weapon action another time. This allows you to get up to two counter attacks from a single counter. With the skill trees taken care of, let's move on to the photon arts and weapon actions and what they do. Before I get into this, however, it should be noted that fire weapon actions can be used at any time to cancel out of animations, making it easy to use a photon art into a counter. First off, let's start with twin daggers. A twin dagger normal attack go up to four attacks strung together. The fourth normal attack will move you upwards vertically slightly if it hits a locked on target. A twin dagger's weapon action will allow you to counter incoming attack and unleash a counter attack should a counter be successful. This counter will move you towards the enemy slightly. Circling Buzzard is Twin Dagger's highest damaging photon art. 
The ending hits of this PA deals the most damage. The skip version is stationary while the full version can be moved mid-animation. Kelsey's coat skip and non-skip versions vary quite a bit different from each other. The full version will dash towards the target, whereas the skip version will push you away from the target. Pure Wet Ripper is Twin Dagger's second DPS option for Photon Arts. To start up first, PA has Guard Frames, letting you block incoming attacks if it's used at the right time. This PA is more PP conservative than Circling Buzzard. Putting this together, your main options for damage on Twin Daggers is Circling Buzzard and a Pure Wet Ripper into normal attacks. For the same arts, you can use one of these PAs twice into a normal attack instead. Twin Dagger's done, let's move on to Double Saber. But Double Saber normal attacks are straightforward attacks. As mentioned earlier, using a normal attack with Whirlwind built up would unleash an attack, or can be used for a counter attack. Julian Dance has two versions of it. Julian Dance has two versions to it. The full acts as a gap closer which deals quick single hit on contact, whereas the skip version deals a series of attacks with the strongest hit being the last. It's generally best to use the full version of Julian Dance. This is because it builds Whirlwind faster. Unchained Circle is a very PP consuming photon art, however, the opening frames of the attack have guard frames on them. There's not much more to say about this PA. Quick Gash has two varying versions to consider. The full version will perform three quick slashes into a whirlwind, while the skip version will immediately summon a giant whirlwind. The first three hits of the full version are the strongest. Double Saber's main PA rotation consists of Quick Gash into Quick Gash for same arts and Quick Gash the skip Julian dance for the full rotation. However, other PA rotations exist for Double Saber that mostly depend on the situation. Finally, let's move on to Knuckles. Knuckles' normal attacks will perform a string of attacks with the fifth hit being the strongest, storing a substantial amount of PP. The weapon action of Knuckles is used to perform a counter attack. After executing a Knuckles sway counter, using the weapon action again will perform a follow up counter attack. Swift Rush will perform three punches into a fourth punch which pushes you away from the target. The first three punches are typically what you should use unless you want to use a skip version to gain distance from the enemy. Buzz and Blows will unleash a flurry of punches on for the full version. This Voltan Art has OK AoE, making it a decent mob entrance. The PA ends off with an uppercut which has super armor. This makes you invulnerable to knockback for the duration of this animation. Finally, we have Double Drive. This PA pushes you towards the enemy leading up into two punches. The version makes for a good gap closer, while the skip version is what you use for PA rotations. Putting this together, Knuckles' main option for DPS is through Swift Rush into Skip Double Drive into a 5th Normal Attack. Alternatively, Swift Rush into Swift Rush and finishing off with a Normal Attack also works for smaller openings. That being said, that's all for the basics for Fighter covered. Overall, Fighter is a very strong class in its current state. I hope this helps some of you wanting to learn Fighter and get into this class, as it's really fun. Thanks for watching everyone, and see you later.